All right, peanut butter jelly time. Woo. Number four in Mr. Kelly's all-time top five and all songs. Remember, if you're in Sully's class, get up and dance. Uh, but only if he's not looking, because you know how he gets. But anyways, today we're going to learn about substitution. Last time we did graphing. We solved linear systems by graphing. This time, by su uh, today, by substitution, which is uh, an algebraic approach to it. All right, so uh, here are the steps real quick. Uh, first step, we're going to solve one of the equations for one of the variables when possible. Solve for the variable has a coefficient of 1. That's just going to be the easiest thing to do, but you'll see what I mean with that. Step 2, substitute the expression from step 1 into the other equation, and you solve for the other variable. Step 3, substitute the value from step 2 into either of the original equations, and you solve for the remaining variable. And then, as always, you write your solution as a coordinate point or you can write it as a pair of values. So a lot of that's probably pretty foggy right now. It's probably best if we do an example. Let's go on to example one. So let me show you the steps here. The first step is to solve one of the equations for one of the variables. Remember, we're dealing with systems of equation, which means we have two equations, one, two. And so the first step is you look through both of these equations and you try to find one of the variables that's all by itself or maybe that you can get all by itself fairly easily. So right now I see this X right here. See that X? It's isolated. It's all by itself. So that's good. That's step one. We don't have to do any more work. So we're going to put a little check. We're done with that. Okay, on to step two. Now what I've done is color-coded some things here for us. As you can see, we solved for X, and X equals negative 6 plus 2Y uh, in the first step. Now, here's where it, why it's called substitution. You can't solve one of these equations unless you get rid of one of the x's or the y's. In other words, in the first equation, you can't get x equals 5 or x equals 2 or y equals 1 because you have two variables there. So our goal is to get rid of one of the variables. Get it out of there. So in the second equation, we solved x equals negative 6 plus 2y. This is very, I mean, they're, they're equivalent to each other. They're equal to each other. Okay, so that's like having $10 and two $5 bills. It's the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a substitution here. We're going to say, you're out of the game. And we're going to put in your sub. Okay, your sub is negative 6 plus 2y. Now, we have to be careful when we do it. we got to put parentheses around it. Whoops. Put parentheses around it so that it's four times the whole quantity. But what's going on here is we're just, we solve one of the equations for one of the variables, go back to the other equation, and plug in whatever it's equal to. This will take a lot of practice. In the past, I've found that uh, substitution is one of the hardest uh, concepts for students to get. So please pay attention and then try to work it out. We're going to work this problem out down here. We get 4 times the quantity negative 6 plus 2y plus 6y equals 4. If you notice what I did is I took the first equation, I rewrote it, but I took the x out. It's just like a basketball game. x comes out, and whatever it's equal to, its substitute comes in the game. So now we're going to simplify it. So 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. We get plus 8y, and the distributive property ends there. Plus another 6y equals 4. Okay, if I combine like terms, we get negative 24 plus 14y equals 4. We're going to add 24 to each side. And this is just going, this goes back to chapter 3. We get 14y equals 28. And as a result, we can divide by 14 and get y equals 2. All right, that's one of the answers. Remember, we need an x and a y, so we get y equals 2. Now, we have just done step 2. Two, we substitute the expression from step one into the other equation and we solved it. That was step two. Okay, step three, substitute the value from step two. Okay, we just figured out that y equals two. Hey, that's fun, y equals two. Substitute the value from step two into either of the original equations and solve for the last unknown variable. All right, so I'm going to substitute it into the second equation because it looks a little bit simpler x equals negative 6 plus 2y. So x equals negative 6 plus 2y. But we figured out y. We know why. It's right here. y equals 2. So I'm going to rewrite that. Again, we're going to substitute 2 times 2. Okay, there's the first 2. 
The y equals 2 is the second 2. Well, now it's just a matter of simplifying. You get negative 6 plus 4, or x equals negative 2. All right, so that was step 3. Ta-da! Step 4, write your solution as a coordinate point or as a pair of values. All right, so you can either write off to the side x equals negative 2, y equals 2, or you can write it as a coordinate point here. There's our final answer. How do I know to put the negative 2 first, huh? How do I know that? Because it's always the x and then the y, and the x was negative 2. All right, so I'm going to review this whole process again. Uh, try to let it marinate, just like uh, you were cooking on the grill there. We're going to... Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Put the x back. This is the problem as we started it. We looked at the... Uh, the second equation, and we looked right here, that uh, variable was all by itself. So step one is solve one of the equations for one of the variables. This was all by itself. And so now we go to the other equation, we find it, and we take it out of the game. Okay, so get out of there. And we put in its substitute. And now we only have y's in the whole equation. We solve it, we get y. Then we have to take y and plug it back into one of these to figure out what x is. This is a very complicated process, so we're going to do lots of examples. Let's do the next one. First step, you find one of the, uh, try to find a variable that's all by itself. Either equation, so look at them both. Which one, what variable is all by itself? Ding, 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 right there. The y is all by itself in the first equation. So go to the other equation and take the y out. And you got to put in whatever y is equal to. Now, what is y equal to? Negative 7 minus 3x. You know what went through my head. y is equal to mx plus b. y equals m. That's a different type of problem, though. I just got that stuck in my head. All right, so now we're just going to uh, distribute, and we're going to solve this equation. So negative 2x uh, minus 28 minus 12x equals 0. And I'll combine like terms. We get negative 28 minus 14x equals 0. The negative 28 moves to the other side. Add to each side. Draw a line. So negative 14x equals 28, and x will equal negative 2. Done with that. Now what? You take your answer. This is, step, this is the answer to step 2. You plug it back into either one of these equations. I'll use the first one because the first equation looks a little bit simpler. So the first equation is y equals negative 7 minus 3x. So y is going to equal negative 7 minus 3 times negative 2 because that's what we found right here. We're plugging that value in for x. All right, so y equals negative 7 That'll be negative 3 and negative 2 is plus 6, or y equals negative 1. All right, done with that. Negative 2, negative 1 is our solution to that problem. Let's try the next one. Ooh, this one some uh, students will get easily confused because it doesn't look like the other ones. We have x by itself here and x by itself here. So pick one. I'll just pick the top one. Here we go. So x is equal to... 2y plus 5. So go to the other equation, take out x, and put in 2y plus 5. So what will that lead us? 2y plus 5 equals 10 minus 3y. You really have to be good at solving equations to do this because you got stuff on both sides, you got to distribute, you got to use all your tools. So how do we solve this? Find the smaller variable, remember? So this one, I'll use the 3y. Add it to both sides. Remember, we have a line down the middle here. So 2y and 3y is 5y plus 5 equals 10. We subtract 5 from each side. 5y will equal 5, or y equals 1. Is your brain hurt yet? Now what? you got to go back to either equation. I'm going to pick the first equation. It really does not matter. You can pick either equation. So I'm going to go back to the first equation and get, all right, x equals 2y plus 5. But we know y is equal to 1, so we're going to plug that in right there. So x will equal 2 times 1 plus 5. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 5 is 7, so we get x equals 7. We have to write our solution as a coordinate point. 
So we write for this one, 7, uh, 1. Remember, it goes x, y. All right, so that's the answer to this one. Whew. As I said, brain draining. Let's do the next example. Y equals x minus 1. See how I kind of read that backwards? And 2x minus y equals 5. All right, so what are we going to do first? Think about it. Hmm. Let's use the y in the top. The y in the top is all by itself. It's equal to x minus 1. So go to the equation on the bottom, and you have to you take the y out, and you put in x minus 1. So 2x minus x minus 1. See how I use parentheses? Very important to do that, because now you're subtracting y, which means you're subtracting the whole quantity x minus 1. That has to be in parentheses. And then when you solve this, if you remember, when that negative's there, you have to distribute to both. So we get 2x minus x plus 1 equals 5. Remember, a negative times a negative is positive. And now it's 2x minus x. You combine like terms. So we get 1x plus 1 equals 5. Subtract 1 from each side. And we get x equals 4. How about y on that one? Well, here we go. Uh, pick an equation. I'm going to pick the first one. So x minus 1 equals y. Uh, we plug in a 4. So 4 minus 1 equals y or 3 equals y. So our answer to this problem is 4, 3. Why don't you, ooh, no, I'm going to do 5 because you got to solve for y. I was going to say, why don't you do 5, but this one's kind of tricky. For number 5, you have to get one of the variables by itself first. And so I'm looking. Um, you can choose, I would choose any of these three, that one, that one, or that one. you got an x, a y, or the other y. You have to get one by itself before you can do substitution. So I'm going to take the first equa equation and rewrite it. We have x. Ooh, that's hard to see. Let's undo that. We have x minus y equals 3. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to add y to both sides. And what will that do? That'll make those cancel. And I get x equals 3 plus y. Right? I could also write y plus 3. That's okay. Either way works. So let's go now. Uh, we did, so we solved it. This is step one. This is the first time we've actually had to solve it for one of the variables first. So x equals 3 plus y. Go to the other equation. So 2x minus y equals 5. You have to take out the x and put in 3 plus y. So 2 times, it's not x, it's 3 plus y minus y equals 5. Now it's distributive property. 6 plus 2y minus y equals 5. Now what? Hmm. <laughs> 6 plus y equals 5, right? Because these combine. And then you subtract 6 from each side. You get y equals negative 1. We're not done yet. I would go to this equation right here to find out what x is. So different color. Let's go, uh, let's go back to this thread. Okay, so x equals 3 plus y. y is negative 1. x equals 3 plus negative 1, which is 2. So our final answer there, 2, negative 1. Ouch, this is a brain drain. I understand it's very difficult. I just did a whole bunch of problems. I would Rewatch this if you're a little bit confused and get through the whole process again. Ouch, all that substitution hurts. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go put up the video that I made last year. It's an extra substitution video. If you're good to go, then go and be good. But uh, if you need a little more help and a little more explanation, then you can go watch that video. It's from last year. I think the section is uh, 7 point, uh, what do we got, 7.2 instead of 8.2. Tell you what, uh, I'm signing out here. I'll go put up that video. Remember, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. See ya!